House for a pre-budget um, conference. As you are all aware, that budget making is a process. And uh, today we are here to interrogate the BPS, that is the budget policy statement, that actually informs the, the budget itself. And we are here, one, the Committee on Budget in the National Assembly, the layers on a committee, that is uh, the chairs of all uh, the departmental and select committees in the National Assembly, and the other actors in, um, in either, either Treasury, uh, also in the Audit Committee, and the, also the four line ministries, which are in the big four. So basically today is a conversation that will inform the budget that we will have of 2021-2022. And as you are very much aware too, that we are in very difficult times. So it calls for us to adjust to the prevailing circumstances. So today, our conversation is um, around what we need to budget for in 2021-2022, the areas that we need to improve on, and also the other emerging issues. And uh, we, had, we have had um, a deliberations with the, the Ministry of uh, Industry, which is one of the big four, um, and also um, health, have had their presentation. We have also had the presentation from uh, the Ministry of Agriculture and also a uh, presentation from the Ministry of Housing, directed as the chair of budget. Is that the Auditor General's report, as adopted by Parliament, will form part and parcel of the budget making of the subsequent years. The ministries, the MDAs, that will be performing well and they have an qualified report from the Auditor General will definitely be getting either an increase or whatever they want. The ministries of MDAs that have been getting an, uh, the qualified report, disclaimer, and who have not utilized their resources properly, I can assure you, they will not get what they will be asking for. Because we have to reward the ministries and MDAs who are prudently using public resources. And we also have to punish the ministries and MDAs which are not using public resources properly. There's no question about it. And that is the reason today the Auditor General is part and parcel of this meeting. In the past, she was not, or that office was not part of this meeting. But from today, moving forward, the Auditor General will be part and parcel of the budget making process. She will not come to us at the end, but she will be part and parcel of the budget making process. Thank you. You can take your. Thank service. you. Maybe just summary, this is a pre-budget workshop or conference where basically we are discussing before budgets are laid in parliament, what are the policy options and policy issues, I mean the economic fundamentals, the issues of fiscal um, fundamentals and all that. So that is what we are discussing. But you can see the budget committee through the chair has invited other chairs. The main reason why the other chairs are very important and critical is for you to manage debt level and to manage budget deficit. You need to, you need to manage expenditure. And you cannot manage expenditure if various departmental committees uh, approve higher expenditures in those committees. So we are discussing how then can we uh, try to manage because there will always be appetite for money. Uh, no, uh, yeah, holistically. There will be appetite for money, so we need the budget committee. I mean, the various departmental committees to appreciate that we don't have so much resources, and so for us to reduce uh, budget deficit and to go a long way into reducing the, 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 the debt level, that is the first, the starting point. So basically, that is what uh, we are here for. But uh, let me also add on to what my two colleagues have said uh, regarding the big four agenda. Uh, we have identified big four as. Uh, very important, critical uh, component of the budget for this year because it is a policy direction of the current government. And so we have invited them. Of the expected referendum, I think that we'll be discussing that within the context of, uh, uh, first of all, we need to know the date. If the date is June, then of course it will have to be funded uh, within this year. It's something we have expected. The, the, the costings of that will come, and it could come in two ways. We could either do it upfront or do it and then ration rates at that two to three. 
So, so there are options or not. Uh, we still, it's too early. IBC needs to pronounce itself. I think there are some matters in court. We need to clear all that. And we, we all hope there will be a referendum. And we all know there will be a referendum. And then, but in the terms of how we factor it, how much you need to factor, that will be a small detail, and that will be part of the budget process. Yeah. But we know that we are a friend. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Asante, my Biko has been suspended uh, in favor of BBI. You know, the whole of this budget is about Big Four. And that's why we have four ministries of the Big Four coming to update members on where we are, on the status, because a lot of work has been going on, but some people are not. Uh, do not seem to appreciate that. Uh, and then what will be done between now and uh, the next year so that by the time his excellence uh, Uri Kenyatta is retired, at least we will have supported the, the realization of the big four. And then after that, we will come after that and uh, build on it. So it's a, it, it's, it's a packed house, it's a packed issue. Um, I know uh, we would have wanted Trisha to be here today, early in the morning. CS was not here, the PS was not here, the CAS was not here, and Parliament has actually ex expressed the displeasure of that. I've uh, contacted uh, PS, the, 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 the CS, 